hard enduro. Yeah. More enthusiastic. I mean, come on. <laughs> these guys are killing themselves out here. American hard enduro. <laughs> What's up, American hard enduro? <laughs> My name is Adam McCluskey. I'm the owner of Rock Crusher Farm. We're out here at the uh, Groundhog Extreme Enduro. And uh, it's pretty wet today. We was hoping for pretty weather, but it worked out to be, be this way. But it uh, should be a great event. We've got a good turnout for the conditions. So let's do it. All right, that was Adam McCluskey, the owner of Rock Crusher Farm, the site of the Groundhog Extreme in Young Harris, Georgia. Here's the pro slash a row getting ready to take off. Uh, 26 riders, a bunch of states represented here. Guys came from Ohio, Michigan, Texas, obviously Georgia, Tennessee, Virginia, you name it. So it looked like Quinn Winsel followed by um, Josh Rukin Smith, Jared Moan, and Sid Lambert. I think um, a few others may have been in there, including Jason Gillian, possibly Aaron Thistle, Stephen Edmondson. There's Drew Kirby doing a little chase footage for us after his injury at the Revlimiter in Texas. He's following Drew Dobbs on a TX300. Aaron Thistle, and then yours truly up in front of Aaron. Slick little turn here. All right, we got Quinn in first. That was Steven Edmondson in second. We got, I don't know who in second. It's Josh Rook and Smith. Josh sitting third, Josh Rook and Smith. These hills were slimy, slick, and steep. Coming down, some of them felt like you're about out of control, so you really had to get the weight back on the bike and try to ride it like Graham Jarvis. This is the start of the Gnarly Creek section. I believe this is Steven Edmondson coming in first. I don't know where he got by Quinn, but Steven's going pretty well. Good spectating in this creek. Special thanks to Blake Terry on filming this section. He did a really nice job. Outside assistance was permitted in this race, so we had some interesting spectator um, help going on, but hey. It's within the rules. It's within the rules. Steven look, making that look good. Bike's getting a little bit warm. That's to be expected. Hey, go. You got it. Take your time. Hey, what's your name, man? Steven. Hi, Steven. Drew doing some on the scene reporting. All right, uh, Quinn Witzel and Josh Ruggins Smith just coming in. I think that's Steven Trumay. Headed on up. There's Sid Lambert, local Georgia guy. Josh Rickensmith out of Tennessee, sporting the Trials Training Center graphics. Josh has had a lot of luck at the TKO the last few years. There's Quinn on that brand new TX300 Husky.
And there's Sid on a TX300 Husky as well. You're trying to give some encouragement and a little bit of help. This is a rarity. I've two times in my life tried to help Quinn and right as I reached for his bike, he managed to go on without my help. There's Aaron Thistle on the 125 Yamaha. I think the strategy for Aaron was ride a bike that he could just throw up anything. You can see he's not having any trouble there just making that little 125 sing. Drew Dobbs down in the hole. Pretty sure that is Quinn and Sid Lambert. There's our, our friend Josh Rukensmith, number 23A. Some heads hanging over some bars right here. We walked this section before the race and we knew it was going to be an issue. But really, I think everybody did a pretty good job considering the rain was falling, the mud was thick, and the rocks were so slick. There goes Josh, he cleared the section up the next hill. Here's Truly, trying to make a run. A little bit of help. Sometimes yeah. you just have to ghost ride the whip. There's Jason Gillian. Excuse me, that might have been Chance Baker on the Sherco. There's Will Preston, 5A, on the yeah, yellow baby. KTM. Will's intent. This is the top of Hill 10. No, Hill 7. Hey, you're sitting top 10. There's Kef James running in ninth place. Will Preston running in 10th. And uh, I believe this. This is Hill 10. There's Aaron Thistle on the 1 2 5. Squeezing every bit of horsepower out of that thing he can. It's just going along, no problem. I think that was Chance Baker on the Sherco. Drew Dobbs putting the power on the ground. This hill is so much steeper than it looks here. As you can hear the raindrops coming down. Hill 10 was really the last major obstacle before the uh, V-ditch that was right at the finish line. Drew getting a good run that time. This must be Jason Gillian. Somebody tops Hill 10. Excuse me, that was... Top of seven, here's the top of 10, or the bottom of 10. Kef James, making it look good on the beta. Kef finds traction. We'd later find out at the Davy Mountain bonus run that he is a hill climbing fool. Here I come again. Trying to motor up through there. My first attempt at 10 was Pretty poor. I lost the tip off of my shifter, so my excuse is I was unable to shift gears on a hill. Here's the V ditch right at the finish line. A few people were able to ghost ride it up, and some others had to be pulled up. I think this is Travis Wilson. Out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. 
Actually, that's not Travis. That's that's Will Lackey. Will Lackey on the two-wheel drive Christine. Looks like it took about six people to get a rope on that thing and pull it up the, the ditch. This is the start of the Davy Mountain bonus extreme dash for cash. Gained over a thousand feet and about a half a mile up that power line. The photos do not do it justice to just how steep it was. The top ten from the morning race advanced to this thing. Top ten included Quinn Winsel, Steven Edmondson, Josh Rukensmith, Aaron Thistle, Sid Lambert, Drew Dobbs, Chance Baker, Jason Gillian, Kef James, Will Preston. Thanks, Drew, for laughing at me for almost going over the bars. If you weren't the leader on this thing, you were immediately just covered in 8,000 pounds of mud. They're all stuck on that next one. I think Quinn led for a while, followed by Rick and Smith. They got hung up on the next little ledge. Then um, Kef James was able to get by everybody. My GoPro's going. This is that next little ledgy section. These are this is kind of the second pack. Leaders have already gotten up this thing. Uh, where? Right there. Uh so here we are, the winner from the first race, Quinn, followed by Steven and Josh. Kef James sneaks in there, taking home five hundred dollars cash. And if you missed it, on Saturday before the event, they had a Barbie downhill Jeep race. Here's a little bit of the carnage. I wanted to thank everybody for taking a look, having a listen. If you don't mind, give American Heart Enduro a follow or a like, share the video, and we'll keep going to these events and trying to put out fresh new content. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys on the trail.